Hi everyone, let's talk about van der Maan's identity in combinatorics. What the identity states is that if we take the sum with index i equals to 0 all the way through to k of the product m choose i and n choose k minus i, then altogether we find that the sum is equal to the neat form m plus n choose k. And there's actually a fairly simple proof of this if we use a combinatorial proof. So, but before we do that, uh, let me mention that m is an integer greater than or equal to zero. n is also a non-negative integer. k is a non-negative integer. And we're gonna have m plus n greater than or equal to k so that this binomial coefficient here makes sense. And there is a, a sort of convention that we're going to use, but I'll, I'll mention that at the very end so that it's not confusing right now. So we have a sum like this, and what I want you to notice is that the lower part i and k minus i, even though both the lower parts depend on the index i, the fact is that their sum is equal to i plus k minus i, which is equal to k. So there's something interesting going on here. We also have a k here. So what we'll do is that we'll start off with this side here. And what we'll say is that we're choosing k people out of m plus n people. And let's say we have m of them wear blue shirts and n of them wear red shirts and these are these are uh, disjoint sets because we're assuming they're only everybody's wearing a shirt and everybody is uh, wearing just one shirt so there's m of them wearing blue shirts and n of them wearing red shirts then what happens is that if you want to choose k people, then you can do casework on how many of the blue sharded people you're choosing. So you, you get that k, you can have, you're choosing k people, but i of them are chosen from the m people and with the blue shirts, and i can be equal to zero 1, 2, all the way through to k. And the corresponding numbers of people from the red sharded people are k, k minus 1, k minus 2, all the way through to 0. So we find that this is equal to i equals to 0 to the, all the way through to k choosing i of the blue sharded people and choosing k minus i of the red sharded people and that's the same as choosing k people out of the m plus n people. So that proves Van der Maan's identity. Now the last thing that I want to mention is the caveat. So notice that usually when we have a binomial coefficient, let's say p choose q, we need p is greater than or equal to q. Because if, if you're choosing q things out of p things, then you better be choosing fewer than how many total things you have. But we need a convention for otherwise. And the convention is that p choose q is equal to 0 if p is less than q. Because and that, that should make sense because if you're choosing more things than you have in the total number of things then there's no way of doing it which gives you a zero and that's how we apply this to m choose i and n choose i just in case just in case we have k is greater than n or k is greater than m in, in those cases, we'll invoke this for any of the sum ends that we need it for. 
Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.